Hey guys, this is Dan from Jailbreak Zone. I was going to show you guys a new tweak available from Ryan Petrich. Uh, first thing you'll need to do is add a new source if you don't already have the Ryan Petrich repo. Um, you just hit edit and then press add. And then you'll want to, I already have it saved here in my cache as rpetrich slash repo. So you add that, it'll verify it, and it'll go ahead and reload the available sources, uh, available tweaks from his source. Just take a couple seconds here. Then you go back to Cydia here and you'll see uh, Ryan Petrich repo. He has updated Activator and a few other ones, but uh, the one I was going to show you today is Flip Control Center. So go ahead and hop in here and you'll see that it'll allow you to uh, customize your Control Center's uh, toggles. Uh, so we'll go ahead and hit install. It will add Activator and a few other uh, tweaks if you don't already have them. We'll go ahead and confirm this and download it. I sped up that minute and a half uh, for loading Flip Control Center and Activator and a few other ones. Um, you can see the Activator is in beta and all this stuff on the Ryan Petrich uh, repo is in beta so it's uh, just a warning for that. Um, you can see this is how your control centers are configured. Um, it shows LTE. I have my settings right now. This is the standard way that Ryan has it and you can also scroll through. This is just having all the possible toggles is available. So there's 16 different toggles um, that are already that have been added, um, enabled I guess from just having this uh, having this tweak installed. So we'll go ahead and jump to settings which is this one right here. Scroll down to flip control center and you can see active switches basically all of them are active right now. So we can just disable a bunch of these if you'd like. Um, you can also see which ones are all available. So settings, respring, auto lock, um, self, uh, cell phone data, VPN, those kinds of things. So you just grab onto the side of it just like pretty much all Apple stuff, so you have the, the uh, ringer you might not want, so you just hover over that, pull it down, location services, things that you want to have available. Um, we'll take off LTE, we'll bring it down to a smaller number here. Take off hotspot, I, I, I do use hotspot a lot, auto lock, disabled. Um, so you can see you have a disabled category and an enabled category. So. Um, so let's slide a few more of these down. Vibration, Bluetooth, cell data, respring. So now we're down to six. So if you back up here, you can set the number of switches available. Um, so you can set it to six, and there's no respring required. Um, but it'll shrink the size down just a little bit, and you'll have six of them there, and there won't be any scrolling. Um, but you can just go ahead and toggle. If I press this respring, it just resprings. So, and, uh, and a lot of other um, things that are available. Um, you'll toggle in and on and off. Um, the settings toggle or the, the button is set up through Activator. And it just goes ahead. Let me go ahead and pull it up in the lock screen here. Um, you can set up your lock screen as well. I'll just show you that real quick. So instead of going to find settings, you can just pop that up and hit settings right there. So you go flip control center and you can see it's suppressed from the lock screen. So you can have those as well. So you can set that up. Um, so anyway, you can set the switches per page. If you reduce that down to three, it uh, just increases the size of them. As you see, we have two pages of them. So um, what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to set up uh, six per page. And I'll have 12 of them so that I'll be able to scroll through. Let me show you an example like I did at the beginning. Um, so you'll have six and then you'll have six more. So you have quick access to... LTE, uh, those kinds of things. So, and respring your device settings. Uh, do not disturb those hotspot access because I do use my hotspot a lot. Um, but anyway, this is the tweak that's available from Ryan Petrich. So just go ahead and uh, give it a try. Uh, add that repo to your list of sources, and you can go ahead and enjoy that in Cydia um, on your on your uh, iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch. Uh, be sure to check us out at jailbreakzone.com and subscribe to our channel at jailbreakzone on YouTube. Thanks, guys.